you can talk about some of those things. What are some of those big things that we know that will that will turn on, um, you know, cancer cell genes that will turn on um, or speed up cancer cell proliferation, D- DNA damage, and cause cancer? Yeah, I, you know, I think this is interesting. This is actually a point where we see a, a very similarity in the literature between what affects cancer expression and what impacts the rate at which and how we age. So in the codes of longevity, when we think through the longevity lens, there are these nine hallmarks of aging. And there are these foundational, the first four foundational hallmarks of why we age um, and the rate at which we age are what are directly correlated with a lot of disease processes in the body and especially cancer. And the very first one is DNA alteration. And so when we look and say, okay, and so basically, you know, your DNA every day, your DNA is replicating thousands and thousands of times a day. And when there's a replication, so that's all of a sudden an input message gets sent to say, hey, turn this on. And now all of a sudden the the little RNA is going to make it, think of it like a photocopy basically of the code to go, great. Now we're going to go make, you know, more muscle. Let's pretend we use that in the Petri dish example. And so the RNA gets activated, makes that little photocopy, and now it's going to create that new tissue. Well, that's how it should work. As we age and the more accumulation of stressors and toxins, and I'm going to break these down in just a moment, now all of a sudden there can be interference. Let's think of these outside stressors as extra noise to the system, extra, you know, kind of taking up space. And so now, now, the copy doesn't get made quite the way it should. And so we can have errors in DNA replication, which of course can lead over time, depending on how frequently that's occurring, can lead to mutations. Mm -hmm. The next thing that happens is while these breaks are natural, the body knows how to heal the breaks. But what happens for most of us, and this is just, again, this very primary level, is that one of the fundamental issues is the body needs time to rest and to repair from normal wear and tear. There's a reason we say that normal wear and tear are normal breaks in the DNA. Normal instructions are kind of getting messed up every day. We all know cancer is always in the body and the body is able and designed naturally to to stop the cancer from any kind of progression. So we say, what is it that seems to increase the odds that this could express over time? And so some of those, let's group stress for a moment into three categories. There's mental, emotional, there's physical, and then there's chemical environmental. And so now I'm gonna work backwards for a moment. In this first DNA, um, you know, the replication issues, that's gonna be toxins. And I'm sure you talk a lot about that in everything you do. And so we think of toxins as all of these 84,000 chemicals out in our environment that really haven't been regulated. We don't fully know what they're doing in our body, but what that looks like in a day-to-day situation are things like air pollution, it's tobacco smoke, it's vaping, right? So are we getting, are we taking in chemicals from vaping? Are we smoking cigarettes or cigars? Are we breathing it in secondhand smoke? That's one of the biggest toxins coming in. It can be UV radiation, Um, a lot of damage that's gonna come to the DNA just from UV radiation. And so if we just think about, and then of course it's gonna be in our water supply. People don't often think about this. And I'm not just talking fluoride, you know, I'm, I'm not just talking, I'm actually talking about anytime we take a medicine, anytime we take a supplement, anytime we take something in and we go to the bathroom and we excrete out, where does that go? right? Even though it goes to the water center, if you're depending on where you're living, if you don't have a well, it's getting fluorinated and chlorinated and going back into the water supply. Well, many of the toxins that are coming in are, I'm sure as you know, Nathan, called endocrine disruptors. So they're a fat soluble and they don't just break down if they're fluorinated or chlorinated, they're still present in the water. So we're getting a lot of toxic exposure in our daily environment. And the more that we take that in and the less that we're supporting our body to, which it naturally detoxifies, but the less we're supporting the time and the ability to naturally detoxify, we're gonna have accumulation. It's gonna increase the likelihood. Now I'm gonna say one thing right here is if anybody thinks that they have an accumulation of toxic exposure, do you want me to give a few quick solutions here? Or do you want me to wait a little further in? 
Yeah, no, go ahead. Um, I want to give, so kind of like to make it relevant. So if your brain's going, oh my gosh, this is me, this is me. So there's a couple simple ways, right? Obviously reduce, reduce your exposure. That goes without saying. So reduce and remove your exposure, replace with, a, with cleaner options. So if it's air, you know, how can you reduce? Can you bring in air filters in the home? Any type of, any type of good um, air filter will help clean the quality of the air. We want good quality air. What about our products that we're using in our home? Fast thing you can do is look at labels. You can look at your soaps, your deodorants, your hairsprays, anything that you can do simply. I'm not even going to give you all these big words. Just switch over to formulations that say clean and free, right? Clean and free, clean and free of dyes and chemicals. That's going to be your fastest way to start making some simple shifts without going too deep into what brands, et cetera, um, to help the body. So anytime we are sweating, we're actually increasing our own natural detoxification. Rebounding is a great way to activate the lymph system. Just on a little at-home trampoline, they've got them now, like you can order it on Amazon. And so by doing some rebounding, you're gonna activate the lymph system to naturally, naturally and safely move through the phases of detoxification. Yet if you're really depleted, um, one of my favorite supplements, and it is the master detoxifier in the body, is what's called glutathione. And so you'd want something on a liposomal formula, and that's going to really help your body again to safely move through the phases of detoxification. So level one is we're looking at toxins of that type of stress. Level two is physical. Physical is going to be just too much. Are you constantly over exerting your body? Are you hustling? Are you grinding? Are you going? Are you going? And are you just not resting? digesting, resetting. And for many of us, especially here in the Western world, we are addicted to our busyness. We are addicted to our trauma and our drama and our, our gossip and our going and like always on, looking at social media, constantly on. And the body is designed, it must rest to reset. And so if there's one thing you wanna do to immediately begin to put yourself on it, and this is all epigenetics, to epigenetically, turn off, reduce that risk of that accumulation for these DNA alterations, then simply by beginning to practice good sleep hygiene, and this is a longer conversation, but if I had to just give you really quick little snippets, everybody, it's this idea of seven to nine hours, less than seven, more than nine has been shown on both sides of the literature to actually um, increase the rate of mortality. So working on a seven to nine hour sleep cycle is a really important first step. And we can talk more about that. And then the last, and we're going to dive into this, and I'd love to share my mother's story for anybody listening, is the mental emotional. And that's the place that's typically hardest for all of us. So we can go a little bit more into that, but that is the constant anxiousness, the worry, the doubt, the fear, the uncertainty, the not enough, the, the you know, imposter syndrome, the comparison trap, the constant state of feeling like you are in lack that is also another very prominent form of stress that's going to add to this cascade. 